So this this is my 1998 Lexus GS 300. I purchased this car with 105,900 miles on the clock. I paid $3,425 when I bought it that day. And so far, I spent about five grand total on this car. The, the most expensive part with this car was that Aristo front end swap, but I, I think it was worth the money. Like this car looks just like an Aristo. The, the lights right there, the gold emblem, the light delete over there from the OEM bumper. And it has the JDM fog lights. I got a TT front splitter. Uh, it's a replica splitter. Um, it has the lights right there. Though I do have that Lexus logo still on the wheel. Uh, and I still have the Lexus logo on the back. I was planning on getting a Toyota Aristo emblem. I couldn't find a gold one. I only found a silver one. But the issue is now I'm selling the car. So this is going to be one of my final videos that I make on this car before I sell it. Uh, it does have some scratches here and there. I mean, it, it's a 23 year old car. I can't really do much about it. Um, you know, this is just dirt, salt from the road, you know, from the snow. Uh, there's a light right there. And then there's a crack on the bumper, which happened while I was installing it. I, don't, I can't really do anything about it. Um, the front, the whole car is pretty clean. Exterior wise, there's nothing really that bad about it. From three feet away, it looks really nice, but once you get close to it, you can start seeing the imperfections. Like right here, there's some paint chipping in here. The paint has faded off. You can see the bumper is like a cream color. And then this is like a pearl white. The front bumper is pearl white because this is from an Aristo that had lower miles on it. It was about half the miles on, as this car. So that's why this color looks a little bit better than that. Um, here. There's like some scratches here and there. I mean, there's like scratches here as well. I can't really do much about it. Anyways, this car I've had for about four months already. Uh, I liked it a lot. It's really comfortable to drive, even though it does have that powerful 2JZ engine. It's a non-turbo 2JZ GE VVTi with 225 horsepower, I believe, and 215 pound-feet of torque. I believe it's around there. It's a non-turbo. It's so naturally aspirated. It has a five-speed automatic. They never made these in manuals. I wish they did because I would have, you know, thought about buying a manual. But I, the only reason why I'm getting rid of this car is because I ended up buying an ISR and a Sport Cross, which I like more than this. Um, so that's why I'm selling this car. I don't really want to sell this car, but I would rather sell this car and put that money towards my IS, and that's what I will be doing. And I want to show you my interior. It's actually a really, really nice, clean car. You guys might have seen this car from my previous video, but it's really clean. It's nice. The wood is good. The owner's manual right there. Everything is clean. The leather is in really good condition. You can see here the wood grain, steering wheel. There's no tears, no rips. There's a little bit cracking, but it's not like it's an actual tear or a rip in the seat. You can see here. Sorry about that Ford truck going over there, but. You know, it's pretty clean. I like the heated seats. I like it has a power button here. It has this uh, radio control ASO. What that does is when you have a radio on, it will adjust the speed of the vehicle, which is really nice to have actually. It reduces the wind noise that you would hear. And this is a really great feature, especially for a 23 year old car. I do wish it had navigation, but then that would mean that my AC controls would go to the navigation. And I, I don't really want that. But uh, you know, it has the nice wood everything is good the seats look nice you know there's no rips here as well it's a really really clean car i love it and let me show the engine so here is that legendary engine that everybody loves or hates here's that 2jz ge engine it has no modifications to the engine which you know that's that's probably one of the best things about this car is that's unmodified for the person that's buying it at least so it's a stock cold it's a stock intake not even a colder intake stock intake stock header stock everything everything on this vehicle is stock nothing has been modified you can see it has the 224 valve twin cam vvti engine that is the intake going over there throttle body uh you know it's really clean what I did to it, so I want to get through all I did to this vehicle. So what I've done is this Aristo swap. So I paid $650 for the fenders, 
the hood, the bumper. I did not install the hood because it it was it was in worse condition than this. This is way better. This is the OEM hood. The fenders are the Aristo fenders and the bumper is Aristo. And I did not get the Aristo headlights because it didn't fit because they have HIDs and these came with halogens from the factory. Uh, so I sold those for $300 yesterday actually. So I ended up paying $350 for the swap, for the Aristo swap, but I had to get a U-Haul for $150 bucks to go there and get the, the half clip. I still have the half of the car in my garage actually, but I have that. And then I sold some parts for this car. So I made about 300 bucks with those parts that I sold. So 650 plus 150. And then I did have to get this fender installed with that light. So that was another 120 bucks. So that was 650 plus 150, which is 800 plus 125, which costed me about 975 bucks. Subtracting the 300, it costed me 675. Do I think it was worth it? If I keep the car, yes. If I, if, but if, since I'm selling the car, I don't really think it was worth it. But I guess for 675, it's not a bad deal. I got the whole Aristo front front and swapped. I was planning on doing a 2JZ GTE twin turbo engine swap or a twin or a single turbo swap on the 2JZ GE. I didn't get that far with it because I found a sport cross, but that's what I did to it. And then I got a TT front splitter right there. You can see I paid a hundred dollars and I got it installed for a hundred dollars as well, which was 200 bucks. I could have installed it myself, but I didn't really want to take the risk. I should have done it myself, but I paid $200 for this front splitter. So the front end swap basically costed me about 875 bucks but it looks really nice though for sure and then in the back what i did was this was just a spoiler a 3m spoiler i guess some people will call it rice but i got it to match with the front i actually thought this would be white but it turned out they, they gave me a black one so yeah but i paid 60 dollars and i got it installed for 25 i didn't want to take a risk because it's kind of hard to align it and i got a you know 25 bucks 85 dollars for all that i don't think it's that bad so the mods I did were about around a thousand dollars. And then I did some work, which was like 600 bucks. I paid about, you know, close to 5,000 bucks for this car. Do I think it was worth it? Yeah, for $5,000, it was pretty, it was pretty good deal. I don't think it was that bad. I'm selling it for actually, I got someone buying it for five grand. So I paid like 48 something for this car. So I'm making a hundred bucks profit around, so 150 bucks profit. And I drove this car for four months. It was clean. I had a lot of fun with it, you know, it's bone stock, it was a cool car to own, and you know, I'm going to be making more videos on my sport cross, so yeah. Well, anyways, I thank you guys for watching, hope you guys subscribe, like, comment down below what, what car I should actually get next, maybe as a second car, but I have my IS300 sport cross that I'll be using to make more videos on, so thank you guys for watching, subscribe and like, and sorry for that background noise.